Today, we're talking about the Iris Mobile Filter System. Awesome indie filters designed for use with your mobile device. And stick around until the end of the video because I'm going to show you how you can win one of these for yourself. And that starts right now. Hi, I'm Ryan with the Piedmont Motion Picture Company. Thank you so much for joining me today. If this is your first time here, this channel focuses on learning and growing as a filmmaker. It features short films, filmmaking tutorials, and videos about filmmaking gear just like this one. So if you're interested, please consider subscribing. Before we get started, we just passed 5,000 subscribers on the channel. And to celebrate, I'm going to be giving away an Iris mobile filter system to one of our lucky viewers. All you have to do is watch until the end of the video to find out how you can enter to win. ND filters, or neutral density filters, are filters that reduce or modify the intensity of all wavelengths or colors of light equally, thus giving no change to hue of color. The reason we use ND filters is to reduce the amount of light that is entering our lenses. Reducing the amount of light allows us to select combinations of aperture, exposure, and sensor sensitivity that would otherwise produce an overexposed image. ND filters come in handy when you're shooting outdoors, especially in harsh sunlight, or when you're getting drone footage since when you're way up high you can't really hide from the sunlight too well. The awesome folks over at Polar Pro were kind enough to send me the Iris filter system to check out for myself and I've been shooting with it for about a week. And I think if you're serious about mobile filmmaking this might be an awesome accessory to add to your kit. So let's take a look at the Iris, I'll show you how to set it up on your phone, the best ways to use it, and we'll take a look at some of the test footage I was able to shoot over the past week. The Iris Mobile Filter System from Polar Pro is a neutral density filter system for your mobile phone. Inside the box you will find a protective case containing the filter mount and three filters ranging from ND8, ND16, and an ND32. The filter mount and filters feel high quality and sturdy, but they are not so heavy that they feel cumbersome when shooting. I actually left my filter on my phone for about a week straight without taking it off, just so it would be ready when I needed to shoot at a moment's notice. And it still fit in my pocket, no problem. The purpose of this filter system and other ND filters is to help you achieve smooth cinematic video by reducing shutter speed. And as I stated earlier, they are particularly useful when shooting in bright light. And they really help you get closer to achieving that cinematic look. To use the full potential of these filters, I recommend shooting with a video app that allows you to adjust your shutter speed, like Filmic Pro. For more information on how to use Filmic Pro, you can check out these videos right here. Using the filters will allow you to follow the 180 degree rule of cinematography, which explains that the shutter speed should be double the frame rate. For instance, when shooting at 30 frames per second, your shutter speed should be set to 1 60th. At this ratio, each video frame blends together smoothly, producing a traditional cinematic look. And once you have your frame rate and shutter speed where you want them, you can then lock them down and use the appropriate filter to keep the look that you want. You will also be able to keep your ISO much lower when using these filters, which will help reduce noise. Setting up the filter with your phone is simple. First, just place the left side of the filter mount around the edge of the phone. Holding the left side of the mount, extend the right side of the mount until it clips onto the other side of the phone. Nice and snug. Now choose which filter you want to go with and slide it into the opening on the mount. Once you have your filter in place, open your camera app and make sure that the mount is in position properly and that its edges are not obscuring any part of your image. You don't want to see any vignetting. It is worth noting that the filter system fit properly on my iPhone 8 Plus, even with the phone's case on. But I can't speak for all makes and models of phones or cases, since this is the only phone and case I was able to try out. So let's take a look at how these filters will affect your footage. Here I'm shooting at 24 FPS with my shutter speed set to 1 48th. And as you can see, it's pretty overexposed. Now let's start with the ND8 filter. See how it affects the exposure without us having to adjust our ISO? Now for the ND16. And the ND32. That's a little too dark, so I adjusted the exposure a bit. 
As you can see, these filters can give you a lot more flexibility with your settings when you're shooting with your mobile phone. If you're serious about achieving the best possible video quality with your mobile phone, then these filters would be a great addition to your mobile kit. Okay guys, giveaway time. All you have to do to enter to win is to give this video a like and then post in the comments below your dream film project. Everyone who follows those steps will be entered to win and a winner will be randomly selected. You have until July 31st to enter, so get down there, post those comments, and tell us about your dream film project. If you like what you've seen from the IRIS mobile filter system and you'd like to learn more and get your hands on one yourself, please check out the link in the description below. If you'd like to get access to exclusive behind the scenes content, free filmmaking resources, and more, please join our growing community over on Patreon. Hope this video has been very beneficial to you, and if it has, please give it a thumbs up, and please be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. Thanks for coming along on this filmmaking journey with me, and I will see you guys next time on the Piedmont Motion Picture Show.